Welcome to game number two of Zertan versus Salami. This is the third weekly Saturday finals on that road to Red Bull Wolo hosted by EGC TV. And Zertan's playing the Holy Roman Empire versus Salami's Delhi Sultanate. This is a custom map, Holy Island. Check that out. And we've got our one sacred site there, one sacred site there. An interesting home mat, map for Salami since he's playing Delhi and there's only two sacred sites on this map. And there's something you need to know about this series. This this is the second time we are playing game number two. That's right, folks. This was like an oh over 30 minute game. It looked like Slami was about to clinch victory. And just before our very eyes, his system crashed and there had to be an admin decision. And the admin decision was to replay the series, which I think was a fair and just call. But uh, a very difficult one as Salami looking to get points on the board. The score right now is 1-0 in favor of Zertan. So 1-0. If Zertan wins, he will advance to tomorrow's finals games. And if Salami wins, he'll stay alive in the series. We'll go to game number three, which will be kind of like game four, since this is our second time playing game number two. How about that? Okay, so... If he loses this or it's some alternate reality, whatever happens here, go back and watch the other version of this game. Whichever version you like, uh, whoever wins, you know, uh, <laughs> you can do that. I might upload both of them. But uh, either way, this is a significant series because neither of these players are qualified for the Red Bull Wolo event that's going on in Heidelberg, Germany this October. So both of one of these players will be advancing and uh, has an opportunity to perhaps go against some of the big dogs who are always in those finals days. So, uh, of course, we have other qualified players in these brackets. If you're going to stand a chance at getting to that tournament, you got to be able to hang and take wins off of players like, well, the Muslim as Salami has done 2 owing Salami, uh, 2 owing the Muslim earlier in this series. So, uh, Let's take a look what's going on so far this game. we got Zertan. He is building a dock, much like he did at the beginning of the last game. Slami doing the same exact thing. So no no uh, variance. The, the difference is, actually, last game, the map was, like, oriented, uh, like, uh, what, like, like this or whatever. I think the water was flipped around. It was like it was like this, and Slami was up there. But uh, we're on a different side of the, uh, the diamond here today, or the square, or the mini-map. And, uh, okay, so... What's probably going to happen if they do similar what they did last game is both players are going to do some water. There's going to be a little bit of back and forth, maybe some double dock action. We're going to have some galleys and hulks fighting up against uh, the arrow ships. And then later on going to be well, the Dao and the, the Bagla. Uh, Slami will likely try to bring a scholar out here to take control of the sacred site on the island. But the difference is this game, Zertan, he's hip to that. He kind of maybe suspected it will be happening, but we'll see if they do the exact same thing. Don't see any cheese coming down uh, as of right now. And uh, pretty standard play uh, as far as so far, or at least this is pretty much what they did that last game. Okay, so we've got Zertan, three fishing boats out, three fishing boats out for Salami. Not a whole lot of action going on here. Yep, got the prelate there. Let's see, is there anything that stands out on the map? Three relics right across the middle, relic up north, of course, our water trading sites. Everything looks really even. Uh, the wood line on this map is on the back. That's a unique thing. You don't really have wood in front of your base. You have a few straggler trees. So um, that's basically your access to wood for the entire game, meaning you don't want to lose it too. Uh, Slami getting his moss down right now, just about the three minute, 50 second mark. And probably be getting this efficient production, I would imagine here very soon. Okay, so uh, I it, this has to be a challenging thing for both players because it's like, okay, do you do you do the same strategy? Does do, do you anticipate that your opponent's going to do the same strategy, or anticipate like they might change, thinking you might do that? Like, what do you think of the mind games the players are having right now of what is about to happen? Do they know perhaps the first time Slami thought he did something super special that? caught Zertan off guard and maybe Zertan this time is going to react to it or perhaps you won't react thinking that maybe Slami will think that until I'm overreacting him reacting All right man could be crazy the score currently is one Zertan zero Salami and this is game two again because uh well the first one of this crashed <laughs> there's our second dock coming down right now for Salami very similar to what we did in last game our second dock for Zertan as well so you see Salami aging up Zertan aging up Beautiful UI, by the way. This one, this UI is available in the mod, uh, was a mod workshop library, whatever you call it. And you're able to uh, use this when casting custom games. And I think they have to also have this mod enabled. 
because there was earlier I didn't have access to it. So pretty cool mod. Uh, you can see in the top left, this is actually what's in production and this is what they have. So two villagers in queue, 20 villagers what they have. So take a look at that. It's pretty uh, pretty neat. Players put in some extra time with that uh, modding tool. But there we go. Uh, Zerton hitting the second age right now as he's moving over to the sheep. He's got that Aachen Chapel on the, the wood and the sheep on the water. Let's see if he's training up any uh, fishing boats yet, or uh, galleys yet. That's how many is in gold. I'm sure he will be very soon. Slami also hitting the next age. Uh, no boats in queue for him either, from what I can see. Do you see Sanctity uh, is going to be coming up next for him? Sheep-wise, holy cow, he got 17 sheep? Is there just like a ton of sheep? He looks like he has a lot of sheep too. Uh, that's the windows key. Yeah, that's a lot of sheep over here too, so... Well, players, pretty good amount of sheep, but Sami, I think, definitely got a little bit more. Okay, and uh, yeah, there we go. We got our first uh, Dao being trained. The limiter often when you hit the second age training these warships is going to be that gold and then wood, of course. You, you end up kind of floating food sometimes. Let's see, is he have any villagers on food, actually? Let's see. <laughs> uh, one villager on food. He's got his techs in queue. See, already got that tech. Training up those scholars, put them in the Dome of Faith. Nothing fancy here. No uh, no Tower of Defeat, as Salami calls it. Here, where's that villager out here screaming? Bianca! Who is Bianca? Okay, there we go. We got a a stone outcropping being mined. Is he going for a second town center? Or is this for arrow slits? Find out next episode. Okay, we got five villagers out here doing something. Is this a tower rush? Oh, ho, ho, ho. I said this could happen. Slami might be tired and say, you know what? I'm not doing this again. I'm going to do something different. And here we have it. We've got a tower rush coming down for Slami. And Zerton is none the wiser. And that stone is certainly going to be for arrow slits. We do see that scout back there fighting uh, with a Dao. Out come two of these uh, galleys. And... How's he going to deal with those galleys? It's going to be a little bit tough. He's training a second Dow right now, but... Oh, is that Dow? Okay, it looks like he had gone for a little raid. But that tower is going to go up. If he can deny the gold of Zerton, he could control the water, right? Because you got to have that gold to train these... Uh... Oh, look at that! He got a villager! Getting another one! Already arrow such a Q. He's going to drop another uh, tower. This is a successful... Uh... Delay of his gold right now. Look at this. Five, nine villagers walking around trying to get his second gold. He's going to slap that bad boy down. He should be able to complete that in time. But he is forcing. He deleted it, actually. He moved it. And Salami just rotates around. Back at home, we've got uh, Zertan. He's got three galleys in the base of Salami. And Salami's going to struggle against this on water since he's made his decision to fight on land. But if he can deny the gold, you know, this could really change. There's two gold mines by this tower. So, uh... There we go. We got the tower taking shots, but he's out of range, not able to do it. Going to be dropping down a second tower, but I think Salami will complete this one. But not only that, Zerton isn't gathering gold right now, right? He's stuck at 120. Salami is. I was wondering, like, does he age up or just or keep making these boats, right? Because it's going to be really hard to, to to defeat this with them camping the dock. Killing another villager? Oh, 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 oh. He's going to get it. Oh, oh, two HP left on there. But he's not going to get it. Five villagers currently, uh, for both players, <laughs> tied up. So he's had five villagers out for a while, but he's caused a lot of out of time. And right now, where is Zertan going to get gold? Uh, down in the bottom left corner is where he's going to be going. He could also go to the island, right? There's AK gold there. But uh, definitely going to be an interesting one. As right now, you see a villager actually being sniped there. Disappeared. Deleted villager. And uh, he does upgrade this. Oh, is he going to get any of his villagers? I don't think he's going to. And there's going to run away. So he's run down to the corner and should be fine for that. So while Slami has been annoying, uh, you know, Zerton's doing okay. He's going to be getting gold here soon. I almost wonder if Slami will just age up and just forfeit water because this is just going to be... It looks like he's just been harassing the fishing boats. That's exactly... What look at this. Look at this. He's got one, two, three dows. He's just been harassed. He says, you know what? I can't fight your warships, but... I can outrun you and I can harass your fishing eco. And that is exactly what he's done. So harassing the fishing eco and harassing the gold of Zerton uh, has delayed him a little bit. But have these shenanigans paid off? That will be the question. Marine Lord says, why is Tower of Victory if it doesn't shoot? Man, that's an idea. Give Tower of Victory a spring gold upgrade. Let's do it. Next patch. I can get behind that. Okay. Oh, he's back for more. 
forcing his opponent, of course, to invest in all these towers and upgrades. Also fortifying his base along the way, I guess. Look at this. Salami. Just continuing to be a pest there with these villagers. And these villagers pulling now. We have, what, 14 villagers chasing seven. Oh, he loses one. You hate to see it. A stable? A proxy stable. A bold move. I'm not sure if this is going to work out for Slami. Like, it, it seems like he's doing some damage and being annoying, but I'm, I just got the suspicion that somehow Zerton is going to just make his way out of this. But I don't know. Some horsemen could change this game a little bit, forcing a lot of idle time there. Look at the food in the bank for him right now. And it looks like... Wait, has Slami held water? He still has fishing boats alive, miraculously. Uh-oh, he's going to get a villager. He's going to get a villager. Oh, oh, one villager goes down. Okay, the horseman running in, but going to have to be a lot of idle time there on this. And uh, we got two towers right now attacking against one, but he's got 10 villagers currently garrison as far as that's concerned. Salami running around on the water still. Those galleys. Trying to get away, but it looks like Salami's going to be able to pick, pick this up. I keep wondering, like, when is someone going to age? I thought Salami... Wait, is he aging right now? Where's all his... Oh, no, he's spending his food on horsemen. Is that what's going on? Maybe not. I see here a little bit of an adjustment. Okay, Zerton is going to be aging. I don't think Salami's aging. No, he's not. Yeah, he's definitely not. Okay. Uh, right now, taking control of the water. But controlling the water doesn't necessarily mean you win the game. Those horsemen keep running in, and they basically are just like... he. Is, oh my god, there's some low HP villagers there you could pick up. 39 villas for Zerton right now, 48 for Salami. Um, and it looks like he might have... Well, I thought he might have control of the high seas, but those guys have high HP. <laughs> those are some... some. Those dows are in bad shape. Look at that one! How is it sailing at that speed when it's got no sail? Explain that to me. Must be a strong current. Strong current. Uh-huh. Okay, so we've got uh, Salami right now, bringing those scholars out. I think he's going to start grabbing the sacred sites. Not aging up yet. There you go. Salami is going to hit that age up right now, but Zerton already in age 3. Oh, shit. We've got the Burgrave Palace. Fans like to call it the Burger Palace, but this is going to be printing man arms at lightning speed. Four seconds. 100 food, 20 gold, and here they come. How is Salami going to stop these as they are running across the map, sprinting. They're still early man arms, but he can get that upgrade very quickly. All right, it's going to take, look, look at it, six seconds. Meanwhile, Delhi, you know how long it takes to get their upgrades? A lot more than six seconds. That scholar ain't going to make it. Does Salami know that it's the Burgrave Palace? He has to be suspicious when he starts seeing all these man arms. And oftentimes, if you can hold against the Burgrave Palace, it is enough for you to win. But the key part is if you can hold. Dropping down archery ranges on the front line. Going to be a little bit challenging as those main arms coming in. He's going to be upgrading those any minute now. Uh, where is his... Did he hit H3? He did. What did he age up with? I don't even see his land. Okay, it's right there. It's right in front of me. Compound defender. Okay. Trying to get the scholars out of there. Going to garrison them so they will survive. I don't think he even lost that first scholar, if I'm not mistaken. These towers continuing to be a pest over here. Salami... Distracting his opponent a little bit back at home. So maybe that'll draw some of the attention of the Burgrave Palace. I think Slami's going to hold this. And could put him in a very strong position as he's able to get a massive crossbows up to deal with these. Uh, he's not going to have the relic advantage that he would have had before with the Aachen Chapel. Yeah, I don't know. I think Zerton might have panicked a little bit when he saw this stable in his base. Oh, and now, look at this. There's going to be Lancers coming out here. Villagers taking a lot of damage, though, uh, on their uh, in the gold lines. Got to be careful. These are upgraded now. If I can click them. I don't know. Yeah, losing a few villagers. Did he get his... Uh, yeah, he has 75 HP, so he did get his textiles. And now he's got a few crossbows. Of course, efficient production. He can train these really quick. 11 seconds. So, delhi has got their own kind of burger palace. All right, when they get that. And uh, any blacksmiths? No blacksmiths. So he hasn't been getting his text this whole game, which is interesting. I don't... Not that I can see. 
Yeah, so he's got no none of the additional upgrades. Sometimes, you know, they're free for Delhi, so it's nice to get them when you can. Will we see an elephant this game? Perhaps we will. Knights coming out, picking off a few more villagers right now. 47 villagers for Zerton. Of, uh, I'm sorry, 46 villagers for Zerton, 54 for Salami. So Salami's got the lead. Uh, we've got a man arms on the back line trying to cause problems, but he's able to take that out. Right now, dropping down his blacksmiths. No sacred sites yet for Salami. We do see another raid going on up here with these Dows. Oh, he's going to lose some villagers, though, that have been on the other side. But think of, like, how much idle time he's causing these villagers. There's been so many villagers being idled with this. Oh, no! He stopped! Ay, ay, ay. They surrendered. But uh, Zertan takes no prisoners, as you can see there. So at this point, he has to be aware that this is what's going on. Uh, and Zertan, the other thing with the Burger Palace, you very quickly eat through your resources because you're making it so quickly. So you got to be able to keep those villagers on that gold mine. Uh, oh, he sees that. He sees that prelate. <laughs> but he's able to snipe that relic. Okay, so... He's able to grab one relic. He has two relics coming. Slami has four relics in his hands right now. Where are all of them? One there. Here, I can use the hotkey. One out in the, uh, the island with the relic. Wait, is the relic spawn out here? Or did he just bring that out? I think he grabbed it and brought it to the island. There's some nonsense. I think that's what happened there. You can't convert boats. I can tell you that. No, ver no boat conversions. And we did learn last game that uh, apparently elephants can swim. Somebody uh, checked it out on Google. We weren't sure if elephants could swim. They got the trunk, but uh, yeah, they can apparently swim too. 2 HP on the Lancer. I don't know. It might be worth bringing him back and healing him, but he might not really realize how how hurt he is. Okay. So Salami getting four relics. That's going to be 400 gold. Wait. No, no. Yep. Wait. Is he going to get all five relics? Holy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ten villagers there. Up for grabs. Will he get them? One villager goes down. Man Arm's going to tank a little bit there. Where are all of his... There they are. So he's got 11 crossbows. Oh, he can do some wolos because this is an entirely melee army, which is what Zerton did that last game. Here he goes. He knows it's coming. Look at that. He's got all the relics. He says, come at me, bro. I got my shiny relics. I'm going to convert your ass, and you are going to join the Delhi Sultanate, whether you want to or not. Those... <laughs> so how is he going to push into these crossbows? He's not going to be able to. Okay, Wololo! Oh, Slami trying to drop down that keep, the compound defender, but Horseman catched him off guard, not able to get that. By the way, he still has a stable back at home. He could train tonight if he wants to. At this point, might be nice to put those inside a mosque. I don't know. Build another mosque on the front line. I don't know. I don't know you want to be walking around with all your gold, but maybe his plan is just to annihilate this army. He says, you're not going to touch me. No, 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 no. Did he get his speed upgrade? Yeah, he did get that. Oh, he's getting it right now. Another four minutes because he doesn't have any... Uh-oh. He needs to do a wolo, though. Uh, one wolo. A double, triple wolo, though. I'm not sure if he needed all three of them, but he goes for it. Did he got some man arms? I think. Wait, no. Did he? Uh, it's hard to tell. This is wild. Does he have any wolos left? I think that was it. Going inside the keep. Uh, uh, I don't know. A kind of a bad fight for Salami. And he's not getting that gold income right now. Perhaps Zerdon could grab all of these if somehow he takes this. Okay. Well, uh, it was kind of an awkward fight. We got Spearman and Crossbows trying to deal with his man arms. He did get that keep online. Maybe he needs to just drop a mosque. Yeah, that's what he's going to do. Two mods. He's going to put him on the front line. He thinks he's HRE. He's bringing these to the front line. Horseman, uh, a nice counter up against the uh, crossbows, but Slami is training Hardened Spearman. Out on the water, we do have a bit of a battle. Uh, it looks like the galleys have moved in. The Bagla is trying to take him out, but Slami taking heavy casualties on the water. One Bagla. Oh, that's a transport ship. There we go. The gold is back in. It is safe. Well, I don't know if it's safe, but it's on the front line. It's generating gold. That's for certain. It, well, you know, now he can get that mosque Wi-Fi. What he wanted all along, right? I want to see a freaking uh, war elephant pop out of this bad boy. I don't know. That would be kind of funny. <laughs> he should make a war elephant. He wouldn't be able to kill a war elephant. He would have to start training spears or something. But yeah, war elephant's not very good. Okay, so 
This is the second take of Salami playing Holy Island, and he is very good on this map. We know why it's his home map for sure here. Okay, going to be dropping down a barracks. Defend all sacred sites. So he has both sacred sites. He has control of middle. Salami looking to be in a good position. Uh, and like we said, if you can hold on, you're typically okay. But Zertam has over a thousand gold in the bank. He has controlled water, but we don't know how uh, how meaningful that's going to be here long term as we've got the Delhi War Machine moving forward. Uh, he is taking the berries mid. There's also some deer here he could eat. Looks like there's some healing going on inside that mosque. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, hold on. Did you get? Is there's an upgrade for it, right? But I thought that was at the House of Learning. Is there? Maybe it's out here too. Maybe I'm mistaken. I didn't think they were supposed to heal, but I don't know. Why? Why is this one? What's this? Oh, it's the healing keeps. This is Anderson. Maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe there's a tech I've forgotten about. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't know why there's all the healing going on. Okay, so uh, where are the elephants? It's a visual bug. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sometimes I can't remember. It's like, was there? Is there something I forgot? Oh, there we go. A war elephant. I would have liked to have seen a war. Oh, I thought I was gonna do a war elephant down here. But his gold. Oh, this is it. He's gotta come forward now. He's taking his back gold. Can they heal each other inside the mosque? That would be something. I don't think so. I don't think so. There's not. But they're healing each other somehow. That would be something. A trebuchet. Now, these, this war elephant, by the way, will be extremely effective against the horsemen, right? They are very good at countering cavalry. Uh-oh. We got a lancer taking some hits. So they get a plus 40 attack versus cavalry. Here we go. Elephant's moving in. He doesn't want to take him like direct fire. You're supposed to sneak him in there. Here we go. HRE doing some emergency repairs. He's just sprinkled on the back line. Two sprinkles. <laughs> I think maybe he expected that Slami was going to come with the siege ball like he did in the first game. And that has not been the case. Look at this elephant. Hasn't even taken a hit yet. Just dishing out the damage. This elephant does not give a fuck. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Slami has rolled this fight. And a case, you know, in case. Beating Zertan with Delhi the first time was enough. This looks like he's about to do it again. War Elephant moving on in. This is why... Uh, this is why Salami is the king of the Delhi assault. He is he is the sultan of the Delhi. I don't know. And uh, Outpost going down. We got the Elephant barely taking any hits. We got Springholds, but no siege really from, from Salami. That's going to be all she wrote, folks. There's no way he's going to be able to get out of this one. There we go. He taps out and take two of game two. I would say this one was actually way more decisive than that first time we watched. But uh, there you go. We've got uh, Slami getting some points on the board, making this score 1-1 one, one after this replay. And we will go to game number three of this finals on the Saturday qualifier. The winner of this will decide who will advance on to uh, tomorrow's finals game. So it should be exciting. As always, if you're watching over on YouTube, leave me a comment, sub. As always, helps with the algorithm. And uh, we'll see you in game number three.